beach taking some Instagram pictures of my new swimwear. Uh, just a couple quick ones. And I got an informed delivery notice that we got some exciting mail today. So it's pretty interesting and I can't wait to share that with you. So let's head back to the RV. And we're back. So Little Mermaid style, I have spread out all of my goodies that I have recently ordered. I think this is probably going to be one of the last hauls that I do before we actually hit the road. This was kind of an experiment for me because I wanted to see what it was like getting mail not at my house. So everything here I either ordered from Amazon or eBay and it either went to my P.O. box or it uh, was delivered to an Amazon locker or it was delivered to the campsite. So I'm going to explain a little bit about that. Um, first off, if you are new here, my name is Lauren. I have a clothing line called Lauren Michelle. I usually make videos about my fashion related tips or tricks, but we recently bought an RV, a Class C, and we renovated it and we are getting ready to move. So I have been sharing some of those experiences. If you want to go back and watch any of my fashion videos, feel free to check out my channel and watch one of those playlists. One other thing that I want to talk about before I get into what is here on the table, if you've watched any of my other recent videos, you might notice that the curtain behind me is a little bit different. I think it looks a little brighter and a little happier in here. Um, I actually redid the curtain behind me. If you watched the last insulation video that I did, you know that I did an insulation cover uh, for the window near the back bedroom. Well, I also did another one for this giant window here. And I figured, you know what, while I was at it, let's go ahead and redo the curtain. So that was a pretty quick and easy project. I didn't film redoing curtains. I don't think anyone wants to see me do curtains. I really just went to Target and I found some fabric that was non-directional, meaning that you weren't going to be able to tell which way the fabric was supposed to go. I bought a pre-existing curtain. The curtain, I believe, was 50 inches by 80 inches wide, and I turned it on its side in order for me to um, get the right dimensions. And also I didn't want it to be completely flat because I needed to accommodate the uh, window insulation that is right behind this. So, okay, so one of the first things that I got was, you can see this Dirt Devil vacuum cleaner. Um, I'm probably most excited about this. <laughs> the other thing that I bought in my haul was some thermal labels because like I said before, I ship and process a lot of orders right here in the RV. I have a Zebra thermal printer and I blow through thermal labels. I really do. This actually was able to be delivered to the PO box. This is a uh, basically a car radio that we got to replace the existing radio. Um, the one that's in there is really just kind of basic. It has like a CD player. I don't even know where to find CDs and it has like you can just listen to the radio. So this I think is gonna be way more helpful because I think this is way better than having to clip our cell phone or something like that to the somewhere on the dash or use some magnetic contraption. Um, and I also really wanna use, I don't know if any of you guys have experience using RV Trip Wizard, but basically you can plan all your trips and you can put in some of the specs about your rig and it'll make it so you don't go on different roads or um, through bridges or overpasses or anything like that where your RV is actually not going to fit or be able to drive. So very exciting. This had actually really good reviews. It seemed like it had kind of the best bang for your buck. And it also had an extra input for this over here, which is a backup camera. We decided to get the one that actually goes on the license plate versus trying to find another way to fix it. They make some that look like a little cube and those are totally fine, but I thought this would be the easiest thing to do because there's already screw holes there where the license plate is and we're just gonna utilize those. So the other thing we got just to make this complete is we also have the wiring harness right here. And then we also have the kit. So pro tip, if you're going to do this, please make sure that it has the right year on it because I almost ordered the wrong one, like a dum-dum. And this is a 2016 unit. So this one says Ford Lincoln Mercury Multi-Kit for 2004 and up. And 2016 is more than 2004 because math. So that is this. So the other thing that is very exciting this right here is the Arlo Pro 2 Home Security Kit. 
I'm very excited about this. And I want to tell you guys too that these, uh, when I looked for just regular full price retail for these, I've seen in that $400, $500 range. This one I managed to get on eBay for about $170. So somewhere out there, there's a Venn diagram of not wanting to have your stuff stolen and be murdered and also cheap. So I think that middle section is probably buy it on eBay. <laughs> so uh, we're going to unbox this. One thing I want to talk about first before I actually get into unboxing this is how did I get all this stuff, right? I didn't have any of it sent to the house. We are almost done moving out of that. So I don't want to keep receiving mail there. So there's a couple different ways that you can get mail, one of which is to get a P.O. box. Well, that is really beneficial if you know you're going to be in one place for a long time because it's pretty inexpensive. Um, I always have a P.O. box because I use it for as a return address for my business. What can you get delivered to a P.O. box? I know this is going to sound really kind of basic and silly, but I was talking to some friends and family and when I was explaining how I was ordering these things, they said, oh, I totally didn't even think about that. It's pretty obvious, but I, I just want to be explicit and say this. So you can only get things to a P.O. box that are delivered via USPS. So it can be a flat rate, it can be a priority mail, parcel select, whatever. Any way that you can purchase postage through USPS is how you can receive mail through USPS. So what that means is if you go on Amazon and you order something, you might see if you add your P.O. box to your list of addresses, you might see something on the side that says this is not deliverable to a P.O. box. Well, that means that it's probably going to come either FedEx or UPS. So what do you do if something is coming FedEx or UPS? This is a really good example. So I ordered this on eBay and when you order it on eBay, uh, for some reason it's not till you get through the checkout process. Um, somewhere in there it lets you know that they will not deliver to a P.O. box. Okay, so you can actually have it delivered directly to your campground. So the experience that we have right now is just getting mail delivered to uh, the campgrounds on a military base. So those are usually the family campgrounds, usually referred to as fam camp. Those do not charge a fee to receive a package, but I know other people and they've told me stories about how it does usually cost something to receive a package at their campground and I think it's usually in that five dollar ballpark so that's just something to keep in mind if you want to get a package there I'm expressly talking about packages that's not for you if you still get paper billing that's not for you to get bank statements or catalogs or pizza advertisements it's just for packages so if you're interested in something where you're actually getting paper mail, you might want to look into something like Escapees Club. That I don't have experience on, so I'm not going to talk about that. If you guys have any experience in one of those mail forwarding situations, I would really love to hear about it. So one thing you're actually going to have to ask the campground manager is to clarify the address for you because it felt like, you know, when you see a foreign address, I was like, okay, there's like a lot of lines to this address. <laughs> So for example, getting something delivered here, it looks like your name, it may be the building number, and you need to put like fam camp, um, then it's like the site number, and then it's your regular city state zip code. So it just looked like a lot of extra lines to me and I was like, mm, okay, I hope this makes sense. <laughs> I was a little like nervous, but I really wanted to try it out and I feel like it'd be better to try it now before we actually get into like unfamiliar territory. Uh, the other thing that you can do is you can actually, if you order it on Amazon, you can have it delivered to an Amazon locker. So this I order on eBay, that's not an option because you just can't get eBay stuff delivered to Amazon, obviously. So if you're ordering something and it goes to an Amazon locker, so let me show you what it was. I'll show you what we actually got delivered to the Amazon locker. So um, this was able to go in the PO box. This, and to, to let you know, the backup camera, the radio, the kit, and the wire harness was all one order, and it all went to a couple different places. So this actually went to the P.O. box. This went to an Amazon locker. I guess I don't know why I thought they just had smaller stuff in an Amazon locker. I always got mail delivered to the house, so previously I didn't really have any need for an Amazon locker. 
Um, but I think I'm probably gonna use it a lot more as we're on the road and we need stuff and it was actually super easy to use. So this, this and this all actually came at one time in a big box in the Amazon locker. Super easy. All I had to do was I ordered like normal and I went through and based on my location, it suggested a, a few different Amazon lockers that I could go to and I picked the one that would be the most convenient for me. And then you get a notification that your package has been delivered. Once it's delivered, you will get a, I got a barcode emailed to me. And then all I had to do was I walked up to the Amazon locker and I scanned the barcode on my phone. Once I did that, a locker popped open. I grabbed my box and I was on my merry way. Okay, so back to this. The Arlo Pro 2. Let's go ahead and pop this open because some of you, this is actually what you came to see. And I think that this is a great option for you if you really were concerned about adding some security to your RV, but you were worried about the price and spending the money. I want to show you if you order a certified refurbished, this is probably what you will get. I don't know what seller you're going to order from, so I can't guarantee exactly what you're going to physically get. I know it says on here that the base station varies from picture to picture, so I haven't popped this open yet, so I don't know what base station I got. Uh, but we're going to go ahead and open this. Okay, so here we go. Um, it being wire free was probably the most exciting thing for me because if you saw in that rehab video that I posted, the renovation video, you know good and well that I don't know what to do with cords and should not be given any more of them. They are a responsibility I cannot handle. Uh, they're weather resistant. You can put them inside and outside, 1080p, so there's no potato viewing. Rechargeable. There is the Arlo Basic 7 day cloud recording and 2 way audio. So it says on here, like I said, base station may vary from picture to picture. No picture on here. I don't remember what it looked like on eBay. <laughs> so uh, we're gonna find out together what this looks like. So I've already struggled with the box cutter, so you don't have to watch me do that. So here we go, if you can see that. Oh yeah, looks like instructions. I love me some instructions, guys go ahead and get in here okay so right off the bat we have some uh, safety rules for rechargeable batteries we have got a refurbished product limited warranty we have got oh nice it's a sticker uh, protected by Arlo that you can maybe stick in a window which is pretty cool because I wanted one of those like smile you're on cameras and now I don't have to pay for that so save even more money um, oh, perfect. So here on this side, we have a what's in the box so I can check and make sure everything came so I don't have to uh, yell at anybody. And here, oh, no instructions, but a treasure map. It is instructions to find the instructions. All right, so we got the camera. It came in a sealed baggie. It also looks like it has a protective layer on the front with a little tab to pull that off. Yeah, so it looks like there's a place for a screw right here, and I bet this is where the mount goes, which looks like we got two of these mounts, and yep, that is magnetic. That's how magnets work. So it looks like it'd be pretty easy to position, and um, it's on there. I mean, I can pull it off, but it feels like it's on there pretty good, and I don't think if it's super windy or anything like that, it's gonna just blow off, so pretty happy with that. Let's see, looks like we actually have two of these, like they promised. Same protection on the front. Yeah, also looks to be in pretty good shape. Let's see, we have the two rechargeable batteries here, also sealed. Yeah. Okay, looks like we got the uh, screws that uh, go with the mounts. Let's see, we have the, this is the camera power adapter. Came clean, this is in good shape. Yeah. The base station power adapter. This is great too, I love plugs like this because if you have a power strip or something like that, 
Uh, it's easier to put it in there and not have to worry about squeezing it into a different outlet because you have a bunch of other stuff plugged in. So this is pretty awesome. So this one is the camera power adapting cable. Okay. Short, but we'll see how that works out. And this is the ethernet cable. Again, in good shape, looks to be in good condition. So we have the base station. Black on top, the rest of it is white. So we have, it looks like two kind of sticky feet right here to keep it from sliding. We have, looks like a place to reset power. So that is where this will plug in. LAN, USB, and a sync button. So again, looks to be in really good condition. So this is basically what came in the refurbished Arlo Pro 2 box that I purchased from eBay for much less than what a new one would cost. Okay, so it looks like we have some work cut out for us. So one thing I do wanna say about the Arlo is that it really is only gonna work when we are on AC power, meaning that we are plugged in. So uh, I know that some people have uh, done modifications where you can run it on DC power. I don't know anything about that. If we do that, I will share that with you guys so you can learn a little bit uh, or at least see how we did it. Down in the comments section below, if you guys have any experience with RV Trip Wizard, I'm really interested in that. Also, let me know if you guys have used the Arlo before in your RV, if you're excited about it. Uh, do you like it? Does it work for you? Um, I'll keep sharing with you guys. Hopefully you'll share with me. So all in all, this was an excellent haul for me. I'm very excited about all the stuff that's in here, but I will keep you guys posted as we move forward with the projects. There's a lot of exciting stuff happening and guys, 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 we have been booking a bunch of campsites. So I'm really excited. We are down to really the last little bit before we hit the road. Otherwise, guys, have a wonderful weekend, have an awesome week, and please go forth, be kind, be creative.